when I'm creating or editing uh, objects that are going to be hashed or filled, maintaining the associativity of the fill or hash pattern is important because if I lose associativity, then it will not autom automatically fill if I change uh, the boundary area. For example, this has been created and it's associative. So if I if I use a stretch command and stretch this rectangle, uh, my hatch pattern will automatically fill the new area. There's several ways that you can break a hatch uh, associativity. One of them is to create a gap when you're editing an object. So if I come over here just using grips, I'm going to create a gap and you notice that when I create this gap it doesn't automatically fill and my hatch will have lost its associativity. If I use a stretch command now and I stretch it out, you notice that it no longer fills the newly stretched area. So you can break the associativity by creating a gap. Now there are other ways that you that you can either create a hatch that's not associative or a hatch can lose its associative properties. Some other situations that would cause my hatch to lose associativity. Um, if you click on the hatch, you notice that it operates as a group. There's just one grip uh, that I could use to move my hatch around. If I move my hatch outside of its boundary area, you'll see that now if I try to stretch it, it doesn't stretch. The other thing about its grouping is like a uh, polyline or like when we create a rectangle or polygon uh, that's all grouped together. I can explode it. If I explode a hatch, not only does it lose its associativity, but each one of its lines or entities becomes an individual part. You really don't want to explode hatches because you'll be left with all of the individual parts that you would have to edit uh, one by one. But with it exploded, you'll see that it also, if I try to stretch, I get some unintended results rather than the, the uh, fill that I would expect with associativity. Another way that I can end up with a hatch that is not associative would be if I create a hatch and in my hatch dialog box I uncheck the associative property under the options. So now I'm going to pick that same rectangle and hatch that and you'll notice that my hatch still operates as a group but this time if I stretch my rectangle the hatch doesn't fill the newly stretched area and so it's non-associative. Another situation where I might end up with hatch or fill that is non-associative is here I have a boundary region and you notice that it's not completely closed. There's a small gap here. In many cases you might be trying to hatch uh, a boundary area where it's not quite as obvious. So I'm going to uh, pick points and I pick inside what I think is a closed area and I get an error that basically says that there's a uh, it couldn't find a valid boundary. So here are my choices. Zoom out until all boundaries are visible which means that I would find the, the gap and fill it. Uh, increase the gap tolerance system variable. So I do have the ability to fill a gap that maybe I can't find if I have the proper gap tolerance or cancel the command and make sure all boundary objects form a closed area. Okay, so my dialog box will come back after I hit enter and I can use this extra uh, more options fly out on my hatch dialog box and down here I have gap tolerance. So right now it's set to zero so it has no tolerance. Uh, let's give it a tolerance of one unit and we'll try again. We'll pick inside this boundary area even though it's not closed and I get another warning. Basically the hatch boundary is not closed. What do you want to do? I can continue hatching the area and I'll hit enter and now I'm going to 
preview to see what that's going to look like. And so it looks like it works. I'll go back and accept my hatch. Now it hatched the area. My hatch is all grouped together. But let's take a look at what happens when I use uh, my gap tool. We'll do a stretch. And I'm going to stretch that end. And you notice that I have a hatch that's non-associative. So if I use my gap tool to fill in an area that has a small gap in it, it will do it. But I'll end up with hatch, hatching or gradient fill uh, that's non-associative.